Okay, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use fresh yeast right here. It's sometimes called wet yeast or compressed yeast. You can see it just crumbles off. It should have a nice smell to it when it's fresh. I'm also going to show you how easy it is to make this when you're using a scale. So I've zeroed out or teared out my mixer bowl. I'm going to make a batch using two pounds of bread flour. I'm using King Arthur bread flour today, which I usually use. The nice thing about using a scale is that you don't have to dirty any measuring cups. Okay, that's two pounds. I'm going to add a tablespoon of kosher salt. And I'm going to zero this again, tear it out. And now I'm going to add one ounce of fresh yeast. There we go. And that's all there is to this. Now I'm going to add my water, which is about 92 degrees. I'm just going to add this directly. And now I'm ready to mix. That's how easy it is. All right, here we are at the mixer. Use your dough hook, lift up the bowl, I'm going to let this mix until it starts to clear the sides of the bowl, and then we'll time it for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to turn this off and I'm just going to make sure that the dough is not too dry or too wet. It feels pretty good. The dough is starting to clear the sides of the bowl. And if it looks like it's not mixing evenly, um, you can turn it off and, and uh, gather the dough together manually. Just pull it off and kind of make sure those, the dry parts in the bottom of the bowl get mixed in. Sometimes you may need to do this and other times you may not need to. And now I'll just set the timer for 10 minutes and the dough will be finished. Okay, our dough is done. Just pull it out. Take my dough hook out. I'm just going to let this dough sit for a while to relax the gluten, leave it covered, and I'll check on it in 15 minutes. I'm going to re-round this dough. I'm just going to give it some shape. Sort of made a little sheath over the dough. Now I'm just going to let this rise till it's double in size and then it's ready to use for many different recipes. This will make great pizza or bagels or other things too. And press down in the center and see if the dough stays indented when I press with my finger and it does. So this dough is ready to be used. I could punch it down one more time and rework it and let it rise again to let it develop a little longer or I could use it just as it as it is here. Um, hope you enjoyed learning how to use fresh yeast. Good luck!